Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Taylor Miller from Miller Highlights, and you're listening to the Stay Social Podcast. More people than ever are on social media, and they're making money in the process. On this show, we'll sit down with you to discuss trends and updates going on in the social media world. Some of these tips might even help you scale your account to the next level. So sit back, relax, and get ready to take some notes because we're about to get social. Hey guys, it's Taylor with Stay Social and I am bringing the podcast back. So to start off with this, I have my friend Deanne here that we have partnered up to have a couple offers for you guys at the end of this. And we kind of just want to discuss how we met, um, how we kind of started where we are and kind of go to where we are today and go from there. So I'm going to start off with how we met in this situation. So Deanne and I are both in the wedding industry. That's how we both started. She's a photographer. I'm obviously a videographer that you guys would know from my very first podcast. And we actually met at a wedding and (laughs) we were kind of just chilling during the ceremony. And I found myself to the snack area that the bridal party had set aside and I was eating their muffins while they're having their ceremony. Um, (laughs) So Deanne saw me go back there eating the muffins and she's like, yeah, I'm joining you. (laughs) So we both love food. (laughs) Obviously, our connection together was definitely food. So you brought us together and here we are. (laughs) Yep. That was so much fun. That was a lot of fun. (laughs) We have grown since then, obviously. We don't eat as much food during the ceremony now. (laughs) That was years ago. That wasn't our... (laughs) Now we've learned to pack snacks. Yep, absolutely. So, Dee, I'll have you kind of talk about how you started and kind of like where you're seeing yourself now. Yeah. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And it's exciting to be here and kind of chat with you and share a little bit about our journey together. Um, And one it's been. (laughs) It certainly has. Um, And I think that's the most fun is just reflecting back to like where we started and then where we are now. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, like you, I started really in the wedding industry. Um, You know, was that was the goal was to just become like the best wedding photographer out there. Um, But through the years, I had the opportunity to work with businesses and kind of dabble into that. And I just found myself just really loving all things business and branding and helping other businesses grow and succeed. And so today that's kind of where I'm at, um, is really getting my foot in the door with businesses and helping them grow and just become even better than what they are. Right. Yeah. I can agree with you with that, with starting from weddings. I mean, great experience to have in the beginning. And then once you kind of get the hang of weddings, they just become repetitive. You do the same thing. You know how it works every weekend you have a wedding. And then bringing in the businesses kind of switches up the vibe a little bit. So when it comes to businesses, you're kind of looking more at like, okay, what's their vision? What are they thinking for their photo, video? Yep. And how can we bring that? (laughs) We're using Taylor's tagline, bring your vision to life. Exactly. (laughs) How can we bring that to life? Yeah. So I, I am all for that too, especially being able to work on the week for that like it's not a weekend job it's you can schedule it during the week with the business yes and help them grow and i think that's an important point you put out there is <clears throat> when we first started many years ago we were a lot younger and our obligations were a lot different yes. um since starting i've got married have kids and all of that your life has evolved so much too in different responsibilities my dog <laughs> Exactly. I don't have kids, but I have a dog. (laughs) And you coach and you do all the things. And it's just, um, I don't know. I think it's okay to have different seasons of life. The wedding industry has taught us a whole lot. Oh, absolutely. Um, And Mm -hmm. I actually feel like I'm really grateful that we started there because it's given us um, a really good stepping stone about how to just like work on the go and think quickly and make decisions quickly. Um, Yep. Because during a wedding, like you can't redo those shots. Exactly. You have to really yes. pick up and figure out, okay, what am I doing in this situation? Yes. Where now when you work with businesses, you can plan out those shots and redo them if you have to. Totally. So it's kind of like taking a step back and relaxing a little bit more than being on the run. Do you ever so. feel like you have still sometimes that like hurry up and rush mentality of like the wedding when you're working with businesses? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. mean, in the wedding industry, when we get to like the reception area and it's time for speeches and we're just shoving that food in as quick <laughs> as we can, just so we're ready on time. 
We're back to the food. Yeah, <laughs> back to the food. Yep, that is exactly it. But that's how it is, though. Like, that's how rushed that you have to be to be on top of things to I be agree. able to capture that moment before it happens. Totally. Where on the business side, like I said, relax. I mean, it is. if you mess up the shot, be like, hey, can we redo this? Yes. And then go from there. But And even, like, the planning, I feel like there's much more control on our end of how the shoot's going to evolve and plan it out. Whereas a wedding mm-hmm. day... You really don't exactly know what's going to happen. And timelines are there, but they never go according to plan either. Right. So it's just like... It's Nine times out of ten, yeah. they are not on time. <laughs> the exactly. timelines are great, but they're never on right. time as much as we try to keep them on time. Yes. But. And then even with businesses, um, you know, usually you're dealing with a couple people, whereas mm-hmm. weddings, we have to manage a lot of people. Um, but I also think that's given us really good skills in working with businesses as well. So... I'm grateful for like that start that we've had. Um, and I think it's taught us a lot too. Right. Absolutely. So let's talk about when it comes to the branding photos and videos, how that gets used within a business's marketing. Yeah. So why it's important and, you know, kind of go from what the thought process from a business owner point of view should be when it comes to that. Yeah, no, I love that question. And I think you and I both have grown to like really love marketing and branding and all things like that. Yep. Um, you really are excel in the, the marketing <laughs> industry and part of it. And I have just found myself loving all things branding. Um, I, I think I realized how important it is for a business to really hone in and understand their brand because it just truly impacts how they are represented in their industry. Right. Um, so I always say that branding is the art of differentiation and it's what sets you apart from your competition. Yep. So understanding your brand and really being clear on that is so important. Um, and that's really the first step, understanding your brand, your ideal audience. And once you get that down, then you can market your business and, right. and that's where you come in. Yeah. And I mean, when it comes to the marketing side of things, you want the photos updated, you want videos, especially with the platforms today, video has been huge for exposure. Huge. So it's kind of insane to watch how social media in general evolves throughout the years. Like yes. I told people at a conference when I spoke at it, I said, social media is a whole lot of what the hell is going on. Exactly. Like that's literally it. We're all flying by the seat of our pants. We're just trying to figure out what's working, what's not. And when it comes to having photos that actually attract a client, you know, having them stop and look at, okay, what kind of photo is this? You know, eye catching. And then a video that can entertain someone, keep that audience entertained and wanting to come back and learning more from you is huge. It's huge. Yeah. And email marketing. I mean, Facebook, Instagram went down a couple weeks ago yeah everyone thought they were getting hacked like i got so many messages <laughs> saying taylor did my yes. account get hacked what am i supposed to do and yes. at that point i'm trying <clears throat> to log into mine like i have no idea what just happened and i tried logging on like three four different times but having that email marketing set up for the side yep. to have as a backup because social media can be gone at any day all and those apps could just close down exactly and i always say you don't own social media but you own your email list absolutely um and I guess you could also say, so I've heard someone say, you actually don't have a business until you actually have an email list. Yep. Um, and I I just see that more as my business has grown, how important it is to have an email list. Yep, absolutely. So um, I'm glad you brought that topic up. I think it's something a lot of people miss and it's just very important to have. Right, and those are also good to have photos to put in those email lists. So then catches the attention. It's not just words on a screen that people are just gonna delete. You want something to catch their attention right away. Correct. And speaking of photos and on the branding thing, that is where having photos that match your brand aesthetics is so important as well. I think sometimes people feel like, hey, I'll throw this together, just throw a random picture in there. Um, But it's it's really inconsistent with your brand's messaging. Mm -hmm. Then I think you're just confusing your audience and that is not building trust with them. Right. Um, so I think that's another component why I love doing branding photos so much and just working with businesses. Mm-hmm. We figure out <clears throat> how do we come up with a plan to really showcase your brand and what it stands for. Yep. Um, and then once we get that down, then all the marketing stuff yep. can sort of come into play and be easy. Mm-hmm. And I can speak on your branding photos because you always capture me in my true element. Like. <laughs> 
you capture me when I look good. Oh, but you also you capture go. me when I am just sitting there with my feet hurting from my heels <laughs> on the ground, just giving you peace signs like we're almost done. And and that's the whole part of why I love branding is because it's more than just like those pretty post photos. Yes, we yeah. love to have those and they're necessary. But truly, um, branding is just an extension of who you are. You need and to show that you can have some fun. Exactly. And I just, <laughs> that's what I love showing about you is like, yes, you're a serious business owner. You get the job done. You do it well. But at the end of the day, you can throw your feet up yeah. and give some peace signs and just, and just have fun <laughs> with it. My personality is definitely where it stands out compared to my competitors. Because yes. I feel like so many marketing people or video people are just so serious about yeah. it. And I'm just more like laid back, like chill. Yes. I tell love me, it. Tell me where you need me and I'll be there. <laughs> I love that. And you're so easy to work with that way too. Um, just any of the videos you've done for me, I can say that for you as well. Mm -hmm. You've captured my personality perfectly and just my business. Um, and so I'm always confident to recommend you to other people and just love working together. So yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's fun. We have a good time. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Because that's why we're together now too, is to kind of put together something beyond what we're used to. Yes. So stepping out of our comfort zone of being just photo video people, you yeah. know, how they tag us or label us. Exactly. And bringing that further into like, let's expand further into the branding and marketing side yeah. of how can we help people bring their business to the next level. I agree. In this industry, I think um, one of the things that we really love to do is just serve our clients and serve them well. And I think this branding and marketing way has just shown to be one of the most successful ways to do so and to help other businesses grow. Being business owners, I think you and I both know the importance, like you're supporting yourself and your family and just being able to help other businesses do the same, it's really rewarding. Right, and that's why I like how we came up with our offer too, to offer it free. Yes. Because we know how many things that we have paid for that yeah. didn't help at all. Yes, absolutely, Taylor said it. That's, yep. there have <laughs> been some very frustrating, I don't know, classes that we've taken and have spent a lot of money on. Yep, absolutely. And I just don't feel like they've delivered the promise that they've, mm -hmm. they've said they would. Yep. Um, so being able to offer something free to you, the viewers here, um, is basically going to help you bring your brand to the next level, your marketing to the next level. Yeah and not having the stress of having to pay for something. Exactly. So we really just wanted to take it step by step within five days and do five different topics, spend an hour, do a little presentation and then Q and A. Yeah. Because we all learn better when it comes to learning from each other. Exactly. So when it comes to a group coming together, especially entrepreneurs and they have questions, they might be the same as someone else. They might be different that someone else didn't even think of. Yep. And that's kind of the community that we're developing of trying to be able to have the ability to speak up those questions and yes. not feel like we're being judged for them. Exactly. We want it to be a community where it feels safe to ask a question where you might feel like, is this dumb or should I even put this out there? Um, but for us, the whole goal is there are no dumb questions. Um, we all start somewhere and it's just, it's fun to learn together. Right. Um, so we lift as we climb, we build each other up and that's kind of the community we want to help create. Yeah, I think the community is like you said, building each other up, mm -hmm. not tearing each other down, not being in competition. Yep. We're all a community just trying to learn from each other and yep. see what's working for someone, what's not, and learn from each other's mistakes. Exactly. Because I mean, if me and you would have really, when we first started doing stuff together, mm -hmm. discussed further on that, I think we would have learned from each other within that time, I think how so many too. years back that we I met. agree. <laughs> I agree, yep. yes. And I feel like, especially in our field sometimes, like people get a little egotistical and competitive with one another, mm -hmm. but there are plenty of clients to go around. Um, Absolutely. And so I think it's important that we, we collaborate in community over competition and working together. Um, so I'm just really happy that you and I came together and now we are working to bring other businesses up as well and hopefully encourage this kind of mindset in like-minded businesses too. Right, absolutely. So if you are interested in the five day business marketing challenge, I will have the link in the description for you to check out. So thanks, Dee, yeah. for being on the podcast. Thank you for having it was fun. me. It was so much fun. I enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what we do. Yeah. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a review and share this episode with your friends. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to hear at the Taylor underscore Miller on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.
Stay social, my friends. <laughs>